This is how to make this Mr. Beast hologram highlight effect in Premiere Pro. So first, we need to create a color mat. So go to the project panel and click on new item and select color mat and then click on OK. Now choose the color you want to highlight your object with and then click on OK. Now drag the color mat above your video in the timeline. And with the layer selected, go to fix controls and set the opacity down to zero so we can see our original video. And we are now going to create a mask. So click on the pen tool under opacity and create a mask around the object that you want to highlight by left clicking on your mouse and you can now set your opacity back to 100 to see your color mat again and to blend the color with the object we can change the blend mode to overlay and also decrease the opacity a bit to make it less intense now to make this hologram effect we need to go to the effects panel and search Venetian blinds and apply the Venetian blinds effect under obsolete to the color mat and in effects controls set the transition completion to 30% and we can now see that we have these lines and to make them horizontal we need to set the direction to 90 degrees and you can also adjust the width to change the size of the lines now to make this distorted wave effect we need to go to the effects panel and search wave warp and then apply the effect to the color mat and in effects controls set the wave height to 1 and the wave width to around 400 and you also have to play around with the direction to get the effect on the object after the last effect we're going to create this color flashing effect so search for strobe light in the effects panel and apply the effect to the color mat and in effects controls set the strobe color to a lighter or darker shade of your color and then click on ok and you can now set the blend with original value to around 30 to 40 and also set the strobe duration to 0.01 and the strobe period to 0.02 this is how it looks now and if you want the effect to be stronger then choose a low blend with original value now to make a small animation we need to make sure that we're at the start of the clip and then click on the stopwatch next to opacity to create a keyframe and then move this keyframe forward a bit and that's because we want the effect to end up how it is right now and then set the opacity to zero and this is the final result subscribe